time to explore the painting station, y'all. You will find that the painting station is in the back corner of the room by the drying rack. I decided to use the painting station procedures poster as my example of what to do whenever you're setting up for painting and cleaning up for painting. You will find on the poster media used. other supplies used, and the procedures. What you will get, you will get a paint shirt, a water bucket half full, brushes, paper towels, at least five, a palette, your paint, paper, heavy paper if you're using watercolor, and your name and class is always on the back with a pencil. The cleanup procedures are the get list in reverse. Paintings go on the drying rack, two on a rack, and please be gentle. When you're cleaning up, you just go in reverse. So you're taking care of your painting, clean up your paint, clean up your palette, clean up paper towels, brushes, very important, your water bucket, and then put away your paint shirt. So if I'm going to paint this, I need to get my paint shirt. Oh, I do, I have on my apron, can't really see it. Then I need to get a water bucket. Water buckets are found on the shelf up here where it says paint brushes. It's right in the middle of the paint brushes, right here. That's where I'll also find my paint brushes, which is second on the list. And I think these are watercolor brushes, so I think I'm gonna use these brushes. And I'm gonna pick one, kinda like this flat head. I'm gonna pick this one. You might need more than one, but I always feel I need one. I also now need to get paper towels, palette, and paint paper towels. You need at least five. Sorry, I got out my five. Now I need paint. Now, the paint can be found up on the shelf. You have these paints, which are already pre-selected. It's all the primaries and secondaries. And here you have any other color paint you would need. And this is all temper paint then palettes if you want to start filling a palette. Now remember when you fill your palettes, which I've already done, you only fill the basins half full because you probably don't need a ton of paint. Now if you're covering a big area and you do need a ton of paint, you can judge how much paint you need. But if you're just exploring paint, just use about half full. And there's a pre-made palette. If you look over here is where the watercolor is. You have blocks of watercolor, blocks of tempera, which happens to be moved over here because of lack of space, and watercolor crayons, pencils, liquid watercolor is also over here. Lack of space, have to use all the space I can get. Now back over here. We need to fill our bucket half full. Not all the way full because you'll splash it around and it'll make a huge mess. So back here, bring my paper towels over. And I'm gonna finish painting this. I decided I'm gonna do red and purple together. To do the in. If you look at the rainbow colors there, I'm actually missing a color. Or if anybody can guess that while I'm painting. If I'm following Roy G. Biv. I'll go back. And I stir the soup. I touch the bottom gently. Make sure I get all the paint off. Don't tap, swipe, please. Don't get paint water everywhere. Make sure we dry off. 
all the water's gone. Might need to wash it a little bit more. And now I'm gonna go in and I forgot my white, so I'm gonna come up here and get some white. pink and put the color into the white because you need a lot of white to turn into a tint of a color. this with a permanent marker after it's dry. Okay. I'm going to finish off with my indigo. If you realize I got red, orange, yellow, green, in blue indigo, violet. I almost messed up the Roy G. Bib. I'm going to put the indigo down here. That's it for the painting station, exploring the paint. I'm gonna have a different video for cleanup, but that is how you get out all the supplies that you need. So have fun.